little libraries are popping up all over America. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. We've got that story, plus the amazing sign aloud gloves. But first, a story submitted to us on Twitter from Corey Reed at Corey D. Reed. Germany to legalize medical marijuana. Cannabis will be available to seriously ill German patients on prescription in drugstores, and its use may be covered by medical insurance. Hopefully, the law will come into force by 2017. The draft relaxing the regulations on the use of medical marijuana is aimed at alleviating the suffering of seriously ill patients who were previously not eligible to obtain the drug. And of course, they're going to fight back and forth about it a little bit in German parliament for further debate. But ultimately, it's about people using a plant and using whatever a free sovereign human being wants to put inside them whether it's recreational or medicinal. Our cover story this week comes to us from our longtime contributor at Eric Moshe. And you may have seen these. I've been in Portland for the better part of a decade. I've been here for over a decade. And I've seen from very early on, I guess what are called little libraries. And now there's the Little Library Festival. It's happening in Minneapolis coming up on May 21st. So basically, you see these little boxes. You may have seen them in small streets or otherwise city neighborhoods. It's basically a converted birdhouse. You put kind of a cabinet and glass door on it. And it's take a book, leave a book. And it's not like a library in the traditional sense that you've got to bring the thing back. Imagine sometimes if you could nerd out and find some book you really wanted, you'd be so excited, you'd probably bring five books of your own back to fill its space. And this is, again, a lot of these stories that we talk about on Good News Next Week are sort of just kernels of ideas. And in some ways, I can't speak to different towns and neighborhoods, and there have been battles about whether or not these should be allowed in certain towns. This is ridiculous. It's a sidebar. But the minutia of how these things have to happen or how these sort of ideas that we talk about on these shows are implemented are things that are going to have to happen in your individual ways. In a lot of ways, we're talking about the spirit, I think, of a lot of these ideas. And the spirit is bringing the knowledge to anybody who wants or needs it and open sourcing that and decentralizing things. So our third and final story this week on Good News Next Week. I grabbed this one trolling around looking for other good news. As you could imagine, sometimes it can be difficult to find good news. Students create gloves that translate sign language into speech. And they are two kids out of the University of Washington, just up north in Seattle, and they basically created these gloves that speak via Bluetooth to a laptop, and it translates the words that it knows. Now, I think they actually won some science project money for this, and the gloves only know a, a certain amount of words, and it's American Sign Language, but hopefully they're going to work on this more. And again, this is that idea of, you imagine 3D printing gloves that speak sign language so whether the you know i think these guys had to say <laughs> we're not saying the deaf have to take these gloves or that there's anything wrong with being deaf but if you want these gloves again this sort of open source idea i'm not sure they are going to open source it but it can't be that complicated again these are ideas and the sort of simple ideas hopefully that we're highlighting on these good news next week episodes this is episode 18 of good news next week we started doing it in 2016 as a spinoff from New World Next Week, the long-running series between myself and my buddy James Corbett of CorbettReport.com and some of the other hashtag good news next week headlines we are looking at this week. Recycled coffee grounds could make roads smoother and greener. Meanwhile, Julian Assange got a kitten at the Ecuador embassy. This is your week update of kitten news, and it does not have a name yet. However, it does have its own Twitter feed. Of course it does, at Embassy Cat. Meanwhile, more people are stepping up to be foster parents in Singapore, and Facebook lost its first round in a lawsuit over the storing of biometric data. And perhaps France might be able to stave off 
the TTIP if they reject Obama's huge, of course, transatlantic trade deal. At Ray Vahey submitted our final story via the dollar vigilante and activist post that scientific studies show, and they're decades old, imagine that, that actually putting your feet in the dirt is good for you. Gardening makes you happier and smarter. We actually had a plant show just a couple of weekends here, and so now we've got some beans and some, uh, hopefully, garlic and all kinds of other things and tomatoes and things growing out in our sort of little meager urban setup. So hopefully you're doing things in your area to make things decentralized and removing your consent from all those things that we don't really want to have anything to do with. Hopefully in some small way I can be a part of that as well. We are listener-supported media since 2005. You go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support. We love your monthly support so we can continue to bring you independent, non-commercial alternative media. This has been your Good News Next Week for the week of May 9th, 2016. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care.